Hi, I'm Adriana. I'm Claire. And this is The Wave. Okay guys, so for this week's video, Claire and I asked you guys to ask us some questions for a small Q&A. And yeah, we're just gonna be doing that. Also, we're going to do a roommate tag at the end, which should be funny, hopefully. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys our setup. This is Claire recording one of her clips and those are some of the questions that we got from you guys. So yeah, let's get into the video. Hi, before I get started, I just wanted to apologize for the really bad lighting because it's been storming all day today and it's so dark and cloudy outside. So I had to turn on my lights, but not good lighting, so. Okay, so we got a lot of questions asking about like dorm stuff and like what you need to bring, what you don't need to bring and stuff. Um, but basically like before the school year starts, I can't remember if it was like the administrators or if it was our seniors that sent out an email, but they basically said like what you should and shouldn't bring. But um, Hayden asked specifically like essentials and I can't speak on behalf of like everyone obviously, but personally I think the main things that I'm really glad I brought like to our dorm was um, our Keurig. Like if you're a coffee person, definitely bring a coffee maker, especially if you don't like going to the cafeteria in the morning, AKA me and Adriana, cause we don't eat breakfast. Um, coffee maker's really nice. Also a kettle, um, if you ever wanna make like ramen in your dorms and you don't wanna go to the microwave, there's a kettle in your room. Or um, I know like our neighbors like boiled eggs in their kettles and stuff, so yeah. Bringing a kettle is nice. Also, if you don't want to drink like tap water and you don't want to bring a water bottle, then you can boil water and drink it. Um, or you could bring a burrito, either or. Um, and then another thing is storage. So if you're someone who brings a lot of stuff, it might be nice to bring like extra storage. Like I have an extra like dresser drawer inside my closet so like I can put more stuff um, in our room. And another thing is cleaning supplies. I feel like sometimes you just kind of overlook it, but like it's good to have cleaning supplies like on hand so that you can cle keep your dorm clean. <laughs> um, and then decoration wise, obviously just bring like what you want to bring to decorate your dorm. I know Madison um, specifically asked about LED lights and I do know that people have LED lights in their dorm, so you should be fine with that. Um, so if you want to make TikToks with LED lights. You're okay with that. <laughs> okay, Adriana and I also got questions just um, about sports in general. And basically at MSMS, there's like club sports and then sports that like regularly compete with other schools. And so the two club sports that I can think of um, off the top of my head are basketball and volleyball. And then the regular sports that compete, um, that includes like swim, tennis, soccer, cross country and track. Um, and usually the club sports practice like after study hours, so from like 9 to 10 or 10.30ish, probably more towards 9 because we have room check at 10.30, but um, they usually practice then and then the other sports they usually practice after school, so yeah. Okay, so we got a lot of questions about how schedules work and as far as schedules go, you have A, B, and C days. A days are Mondays, Wednesday, Fridays. B days are Tuesdays, C days are Thursdays, and you'll have classes like varying throughout those days. Honestly, scheduling is really <laughs> stressful, like how it is at any school. Um, and it's super confusing at MSMS, like understanding how everything works, but you have your counselors, so obviously ask them questions if you have any. And on power school, it's laid out day by day what classes you need to go to and what time. So that's honestly super helpful and I really recommend looking at that because if I didn't have that, I probably would have gone to the wrong class multiple times. Also, if you wanna get anything in your schedule change, as always, go to your counselor and there's like a deadline for schedule changes. So just make sure you keep up with that. And yeah. We also got questions about what the easier classes are and the easier classes tend to be like the art, classes and like electives and stuff but regardless of how easy your classes are all the classes at msms require you to put in a decent amount of work even though it might not take that much brain power so you can get like an assignment done in maybe 30 minutes or less so yeah you don't have to freak out or anything but you'll have to put in work for all your classes pretty much Amy asked what time do Claire and I usually go to sleep and we always go to sleep before 12 because we're responsible and we get our homework done on time but <laughs> if you want that answer in more detail with more specifics you can DM us and ask us that question again. I 
I apologize for filming this like a whole nother day, but I accidentally forgot to answer the question the day we were filming or I was filming. So yeah, but we're answering your question now, Dr. Stevens. Minji, what is your favorite thing about me? Your makeup. When I put your makeup on? Mm -hmm. Or I put makeup on you? I do your hair. And I like it when you put perfume on before. When I put perfume on? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> I love it. Like... Minji, I like how whenever I ask us to do um, our little handshake, put it on there. I like doing that with you. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I like that too. I was about to say that. You, you like that too? Um, also, the little handshake we have, it's basically like a Korean traditional handshake we do, so. Yeah. Dr. Stevens asked me what's my favorite room in my house. Um, one of my, well, oh, my favorite rooms in my house are definitely the living room and my bedroom. My bedroom for obvious reasons because it's my space. The living room because of the TV and like fire stick and stuff. I don't know, I kind of love it. There was this phase I went through where I never slept in my room, I just slept in the living room. And then my mom would be like, hey, do you wanna go to your room? And I literally like had a comforter and everything in there and I would just like fold it up and then take that. <laughs> but yeah. In addition to the Q&A, Adriana and I also wanted to include like a little mini roommate tag just for fun because, you know, we're already answering questions so might as well answer a few more. Rather than being in like a difference, I feel like becoming roommates with Adriana was rather just like an extension to our friendship. And I remember like Adriana and I made a lot of predictions about ourselves and like other people were like, oh, Adriana and Claire are too similar and like they're not, they're gonna clash and like not become good roommates. But it actually turned out surprisingly really well and we're like always on the same wavelength, so yeah. <laughs> okay, also Adriana and I had this prediction that we would get into this like huge fight because like we would just get tired of each other and whatever. And we were just like waiting on it and stuff. But honestly, Adriana and I haven't had a single fight yet this year, which is like kind of scary, but maybe for the better, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, there's not really even that big of a difference, I feel, because Claire and I, we talked about being roommates a bit before even coming, so everything was exactly how we thought it was going to be. Also, Claire and I are just so similar, so it's kind of just living with another version of myself. <laughs> kind of weird, but that's the truth. Um, I really rely on Adriana for her alarms. Like, I can never wake up to my alarms, but I can always wake up to her alarms. Like, I'll just jolt up and I'll be awake. And Adriana sets, like, probably minimum six, but she never wakes up to any of them. I'm always the one waking her up. So I guess it's kind of like we depend on each other, but yeah. <laughs> Going along with Claire's uh, response about the alarms is that since my alarms don't wake me up, Claire's usually the one that's like, Adriana, get up. And she'll like, just say that and I'll be like, okay, I'm ready. Other times I'll get up before her, but it doesn't really happen that often after <laughs> their nine weeks started. But yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, The habit that annoys me about Adriana is, I call it her hollow eating. Basically when she eats, she has like a really hollow mouth <laughs> and like I'm trying to do my work and I can just hear her like eating but it's like I don't even know how to describe it. It annoys me so much because I'm trying to do my homework but all I hear is munching in the background and obviously like she can't notice herself eating like that because she has her airpods in and stuff. One thing that annoys me about Claire is I know she doesn't like for me, or I think she doesn't like for me to play my music loud because there was this one incident maybe halfway through first semester, I was playing my music loud really loud in my AirPods and Claire was like, Adrian, turn your music down. You can't even hear me if I call you. And I was like, ah, annoyed. Steam was probably coming out my ears, but I wasn't about to cry. I was in an argument over it because it's not that big of a deal. So yeah. Basically, usually on A days I have, well, not usually, on A days I have comp. And so I usually make it to class like eight o'clock on the dot. But there was this one time Adriana wasn't like in our room because um, she was gone for FBLA competition. And she, since she, and I usually rely on Adriana for her alarms because for some reason I can never hear my alarms but I can always hear hers. So anyways, um, yeah, she wasn't there and I literally woke up 30 minutes late to class for photography, which I'm really grateful that it was photography because all of our assignments are like out of class and so, I wasn't like missing anything during class, but yeah. 
really bad experience. 10 out of 10 would not recommend it. And don't wake up late for class. <laughs> One funny story about being late is that, okay, me and Claire are honestly <laughs> almost late every single morning and we don't like walk with shoes in the dorm. So if, if this is especially rough morning, me and Claire are literally like on our knees, like forgetting stuff on our beds and stuff because we, we've already put on our shoes but we don't want to walk in the dorm. And then we'll run to class. I'm running every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, honestly. Honestly, every day of the week to shack because my first walk is in shack every single day, which kind of sucks. Okay, this clip is vlog style because it's been a while since I recorded. But I just wanted to say there was this time I was so late that I didn't even have time to like strap my sandals and I was wearing sandals to say and there were these like chunky Doc Martens and I was running to Mr. Yarbrough's class and you could hear my shoes like clapping against my feet as I was running in the hallway. So then Mr. Yarbrough was like, or everybody in the class was like, Adriana, were you running? And I was like, trying to play it cool. And I was like, maybe. And then Mr. Yarbrough being the teacher he is, went on this whole thing, talking, yeah basically embarrassing story about being late so don't be late um something i like i already knew this but basically adriana like sleep eats so like she eats in her sleep um and i already knew about it but i had only heard stories about it but there was this one night i like actually witnessed it and it was so scary because adriana was like she was just sleeping in her bed and i was like up doing homework and then suddenly she just like jolts up like 90 degrees like she's up and i'm like adriana what are you doing and she just like runs and i was like okay whatever and then i like keep doing my homework and she literally just jolts her stuff like down from her bed i don't know if you've seen our room um our room tour video but like her bed is pretty high up and she has this like food crate under her bed and so she literally just like jolts down and like pulls out the crate like she doesn't leave her bed or anything but she pulls out the crate with her arm and all i hear is just like rummaging and she just starts eating and i'm like adriana are you sleep eating and she goes no and i was like oh whatever but then she woke up the next morning she told me she was so embarrassed that like to tell me that she was actually sleep eating <laughs> and so um yeah that's something new i've learned well it's not something new i've learned about her but it was just a good moment to witness <laughs> Um, one good thing about Claire, is, or one benefit about Claire, is that her mom sends so many homemade meals and like prepackaged or whatever. So sometimes I'll be like low key hungry, or not even hungry, but Claire would just kind of like force me to eat, which I appreciate because sometimes I am low key hungry, but I'm not just gonna be like, hey, give me your food sometimes. <laughs> so then Claire will be like, oh, you can have one of them, or like we'll split her dinner and like. It goes vice versa sometimes, not all the time, but yeah, I just appreciate that about it. Um, but funniest moment while living with Adriana. Honestly, there's so many and like the list could go on and on, but the first thing I think of is there was this one incident where there was this cockroach under Adriana's suitcase because we had come back from like the weekend and stuff. and. Adrian was like, oh yeah, I saw a cockroach earlier, but I don't know where it went. And I was like, oh crap, because I am so terrified of cockroaches. And so later that night, I was like in the bathroom, like brushing my teeth and stuff. And then I was like done. I was coming back into the like into our room or whatever. And I saw the cockroach and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but it was already dead, but it was still like disgusting. And so then Adriano and I were like fooling around and we were like, oh my gosh, what if we prank Fiona and Carlene, which are our sweet mates? And so <laughs> we put it, Ajana picked it up. Well, obviously not with her hands, but she picked it up and we put it in our sweet mates sink in the bathroom. And it was so funny just listening to them like wake up and like freak out because there's a cockroach. And me and Ajana like tried to keep it cool for like the longest time. And it was, it was really funny basically. <laughs> Claire and I have had so many funny memories with each other that there's not a specific memory that I can like pinpoint. But one night Claire and I made this TikTok where we pretended to be these couples from these TV shows that we watch. And it was honestly the funniest thing ever. And we laughed about it for a week and we showed a few of our like seniors and friends who would get it. And they all were like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, perhaps I will insert a clip of it now. If you want to see the whole thing, um, we might show you if you come in the fall. 
Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this week's video. Be sure to check out MSMS's social media links down below. And if you have any questions or concerns for me and Claire to answer, our personal information is also down below. And be sure to like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. We really hope you enjoyed this week's video and we'll see you next Wednesday. Oh my gosh, this is not